This is Carnival Ron. Something I've been thinking about since the recent Easter and upcoming Passover has brought this to mind. The Hebrew language has 75,000 to 85,000 abstract words, which anybody can find in a dictionary. And there are several words that exist to describe different types of bread. Matzah is the word for unleavened bread, and this is a loaf of matzah. At the beginning of the Passover Seder, I hold up a loaf of matzah and say, this is the bread of affliction, which our forefathers ate in the land of Egypt. It can be eaten any, the any time of the year, but especially during the days of Passover. Lachem is the word which is used to describe bread, which is leavened, which cannot be eaten during the days of Passover. There's a traditional Hebrew prayer which we say at meals. In English, it's translated, Blessed is the Lord of Eternity who brings forth bread out of the ground. The Hebrew word for bread in the blessing is lachem, not manna. The word manna is found in Exodus chapter 16, verse 4. Many translators translate manna as bread, but the word most likely means food. Also, I have to add from my own carnivore perspective that I'm allergic to gluten, which is a protein found in wheat and therefore is in bread. When I was eating bread, I had to use two inhalers to breathe. Since I'm allergic to gluten, I did not have to eat matzah, but only point to it while everyone else ate matzah, which is called the Afrikoman, and is literally the last thing eaten in the Seder before the third cup of wine is drunk, which is called the cup of redemption. Christians lifted these from the Seder, and they became the Lord's Supper. If I lived during the Exodus, I would have eaten manna. If manna was bread, I would not have been able to eat it. And I have to ask myself, do I honestly think that God would give me something to eat, knowing that it would harm me? And my answer is no, because God is loving, and God loves me and loves you. So I have to conclude that Lamech comes out of the ground while manna comes from God out of heaven. So manna would not have been bad for me, but manna would have been good for me to eat. Thank you for your patience.